Hey guys, thank you for watching. It's Monday. Today I slept from like 7 a.m. to about 2 p.m. I haven't really been up since last night, uh, up from the bed I mean. But I decided to get up and come make myself a, some lunch, uh, even though it's almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't really want to spend too much time uh, making something, so I'm just going to keep it simple. So I'm just making a quick salad. I got some uh, romaine lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, some more uh, mozzarella cheese. I'm going to add some of this uh, black forest ham, and that's not going to be enough fat, so I'm going to add some olive oil and then uh, a little vinaigrette. So that's going to be my lunch, even though it's 5 o'clock. Hey guys, I'm at the doctor's office. Uh, they're gonna figure out right now if I need to get operated today or if we need to wait more. Uh, as you can see, I'm not swollen anymore, so I'm hoping they do something today so that way I can just start the recovery uh, process instead of having to wait. I'm not really nervous, I'm just anxious. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, go home today, operated on and fixed. Zucchini. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, First, Daffy say, um, so chicken is uh, and then I say zucchini. Zucchini oh, salt. Oh, I can't see it. Spicy thing. Yeah, Hot pepper. How come Daffy comes exactly at dinner? I know, yeah. <laughs> Always. I know when to show up. He knows the timing. He's sitting outside in the car waiting for the lights to go off. That's my cue. Can I get a large iced coffee with cream, no sugar, please? Any else for you? That's all. It's just 23 or Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm driving again. I uh, just realized I forgot to update you from the last time I went to the uh, uh, doctor the swelling went down, but then they didn't have a uh, surgery room available. So I'll get surgery tomorrow Thursday um, Which gave me today the first of August to kind of run around and uh, Go pick up the checks deposit them in the bank before I go back to being immobile for at least a few weeks Once they operate my foot's gonna swell up again, and I won't be able to you know do what I'm doing now driving but it's funny because I just realized that this is the first time that I've driven since I was driving in Japan. And I didn't even think about the fact that I was on the opposite side of the road. Uh, it's, it's almost like immediately everything went back to, uh, to normal. One thing I did notice about me driving again is that I have to put my knee somewhere so that I don't have to hold it up with my leg because my muscles just weak. Like uh, just holding it up for two seconds starts burning. Um, so which is pretty crazy that in two weeks you can lose that much muscle mass. Uh, by not using it. Last night I had to go home, print some forms out so that I can sign them and send it to our realtor. Weird to see it all staged, ready to sell uh, because it probably hasn't looked that nice since we bought it. I'm hoping that once we find our new place then we can keep it maybe as clean as that. Wow, that was the first time that that happened to me. I was in the Kaneohe McDonald's in the Windward Shopping Center and the guy in front of me paid for my coffee which is it feels nice, but it's weird at the same time. That's uh, it's kind of like just like that random generosity. It's uh, I guess I'm not used to it, um, but that's cool, man. If you're watching, thank you. Hey guys, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. Recently, I've just been either eating one meal a day or eating a meal and then snacking on something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm here at Wingstop. I'm gonna fill myself up. And then I'm gonna watch a movie and then go back home and, and relax and get ready for tomorrow's surgery. Hey guys, so I'm about two hours from surgery. So, hola! Yeah! ¿Dónde venimos? I'm done guys just uh, getting back home from the hospital I feel no pain right now I feel like nothing's wrong with my foot everybody's making it seem like uh, it's gonna wear out pretty soon <laughs> so
since I can't feel my foot, I don't know if I'm hitting something. And so just to avoid any kind of damage that I'm not like paying attention to, I'm just going to try to stay off of it until at least the feeling comes back. So that way I know if I'm smacking it against the back of the wall or something like that. So it sounds silly, but yeah, I get nervous about that. No, just tocar, eh? Papa, um, cortaron you? tu pie? Pero, no. Are you feeling anything? No. You're not feeling, you're still feeling numb? It's supposed to be 24 hours. Yeah? Yeah, okay. They, they like, uh, nerve, they, uh, <laughs> numb nerves in the front and the back. So I can't even move my foot. Like, I can't move my foot. It should come back, right? I hope. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back home. I just made myself some tuna with some mushrooms and mayonnaise because that's the only thing that I had. Later on, we're probably gonna go to the supermarket or the commissary to buy some vegetables because we have zero. The only thing we have right now is some frozen meats and some uh, bacon, so we're probably gonna pick up a whole lot of groceries today. Hey guys, it's been a little bit over 24 hours since they numbed my leg for the operation and the pain is starting to come in, the feeling. I can move my toes now. I never saw my foot and where they cut it, but I can almost tell what area got cut just by the by the pain that I'm feeling. Right now it's not too bad, but it's just building. I'm hoping I won't need to take the uh, painkillers because um, like I said, I don't like pills, but uh, we'll see. I'll give, it, I'll give it some time, see how bad it gets. So the numbing medicine or whatever they put in my leg is worn out and it is, Killing me, super painful. I took some uh, some of the medicine that I didn't really want to take, but it's just too much pain, and it doesn't feel like it's working. It's still it's still pretty painful. But we were supposed to go out for dinner, uh, but I can't I can't be out right now. So uh, I asked Megu to buy me some uh, McDonald's coffee and some bunless burgers, uh, just so I can stay in the house and relax. And they're gonna go out to dinner, so. Uh, so painful. Se porta bien, okay? Las quiero mucho. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hey guys, uh, so I don't feel any pain right now on my foot because I'm uh, probably high on drugs. I can't really tell, but. Uh, there's no pain, so I just decided to cook myself something. We still don't have food in the house, so I kind of just had to pick whatever we have, and this is what I came up with. Alright guys, so I took some bacon and cooked it, uh, added some onions and garlic, then I put some Portuguese sausage in there, I added some uh, canned tomatoes, some tomato paste, and some canned uh, mushrooms, and then I mixed it all up, salt, pepper, some uh, Italian spices, and then I added some cheese, uh, mozzarella cheese and yogurt. And so uh, it's really good. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna go check out some houses in Waikiki. Got the kids, so they can check it out. Uh, so all day today we're probably going to check out houses, go to Costco, go to the commissary. Hey guys, we're at Costco taking a quick lunch break. So uh, I'm just gonna eat a salad from Costco. 
Thank you for watching guys. Remember, I'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family. So on top of my weekly vlogs, I'm also gonna put videos on how I plan to generate money on the road, how I save money, how I become a minimalist, and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement. Uh, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel. Click right here to see the latest upload. Click here to see videos that relate to this video right here. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever I upload new videos. And also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.